During China's Tiananmen Square movement in 1989, to being a respected television producer, technology innovator, and social educator worldwide. In addition to his current company, Vfinity, Shentong has directed numerous successful ventures since the mid 1990s, including a broadcast production company headquartered in Boston and Beijing that, in 1996, produced the top-rated television show in China. He was responsible for an award-winning PSA in 1992. And has partnered with the ABC News magazine Day One to produce two China-related documentaries shown on France TV and Germany TV. Shen also published a newspaper column in Hong Kong. His distinguished and international career encompasses consulting and strategic planning for Fortune 100 and high-tech companies in more than 20 companies, countries. Excuse me. In addition, he has lectured at more than 150 universities, professional association, and think tanks. Shen Tong was one of Newsweek's People of the Year in 1989, and his accomplishments have been widely reported in major print publications and electronic media. His best-selling book, Almost a Revolution. About his experiences during China's student revolution has been on the market for a decade and a half, and is part of the curriculum of numerous educational institutions. His education began with his undergraduate studies in biology at Beijing University. Later, he attended Brandeis University and continued with PhD programs in political philosophy at Harvard University and sociology at Boston University. He lives in New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, Shen Tong. Thank you very much, John. And uh, the, uh, that's, uh, that's a great uh, introduction. I, um, um, when I was uh, running the news center uh, for uh, the 1989 uh, student uh, movement in Beijing,、uh, a lot of reporters from Europe and from this country told me your revolution will be televised, and、uh, that's really what made the difference、uh, back in 1989. And today, what we're going to talk about here is that.、Uh, In the next revolution or next next social trend, you will be web social networked. So,、uh, let me,、uh, without further ado, let me cut to、uh, our presentation. Can I get the visual? Yes. So, social network. Today, we're going to talk about social network for the web. I want to thank NAB and especially John to organize this panel because、uh, this is probably the most、uh, challenging and possibly the most important question for me- media business today. Social networking is referring to、uh, massive and growing interactivity on the web today. So. Social networking for businesses could mean anything from Amazon having its users to uh, uh, guide other users. The person who bought this also bought that, writing reviews and、uh, rating. And so it's eBay rating、uh, uh, other vendors and and so on.、Uh, and it could be in the in the recent、uh, months and years,、uh, it could be、uh, IBM testing beta testing their software by social network either internally. Within the enterprise or externally, with a、uh, virtual community of testers, it could mean、uh, Reuters offering MySpace type of uh, uh, grouping on the social network for traders to form their own group. So,、uh, social networking for business could mean many different things, and its impact in our business, in the media business, is probably the most thorough and profound. The reason is. I would argue in this presentation that everything in our business will be social networked on the web, and we're talking about not only the website will have to embrace、uh, the web、uh, distribution, but also internal workflows and production workflows and content creation can be and must be managed by social network. And I will make a distinction here that if you look at examples I just mentioned,、uh, the web pure plays. The successful companies on the web, they are focusing their 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 media business, but they're focusing on context, not necessarily the content. They don't necessarily own a content at all. Where、uh, traditional, of course, our our business has been content business. So that's、uh, the phrase I will use for the for this discussion: that the content business versus context business. That's really the dichotomy today in media business. And the way you can harness power and you can be successful 
likes the successful contact businesses is through this concept I will in introduce, which is the managed web, having the power of the web to your use in your media business. So let's, let's take a quick look at uh, what the web is, what it has been. Well, web started 12 years ago, as you all know, and it was uh, started off as a browser access to aggregation of a uh, tremendous amount of uh, electronic catalogs. Yahoo, as you may or may not remember, was an acronym that stood for yet another hierarchical officious oracle, Yahoo. Okay. Then comes Amazon and eBay. Basically, they did something very simple but very powerful, which is turning usage metadata into guide. So it's not just catalogs. And then comes uh, a, a small company that now we know is named Google, which they basically decided there's overabundance of all these uh, data and catalogs. And furthermore, there are people dynami dynamically interacting with the web. That is really, this, these three companies are the precursor of a social network today. Because what Google did, which is brilliant, uh, and then change the search game and change our lives, I think, uh, in many different ways, is that just ask Google, ask me a question, I'll give you the answer. The reason uh, I can give you the answer is not because I have a, a high availability of all the catalog and the list. It's because I identify a community that are known as webmasters, and they social network around web pages so that they give a, a social network to filter about which uh, web page is most relevant to the topic you're asking, to the keyword you're asking. So that's really the precursor. That's, that's just one social network community, and today we have many of all kinds. So that, that's web yesterday and uh, the beginning of the web and yesterday. What's today? Today, I would say it's the evolutionary, uh, next evolutionary stage for the web. I would just call it social network web. So beyond content and uh, usage metadata guide, Today, the web is about people behaving as networks on the web, and it's about context, more and more context created in, in gazillion different ways, and it's still growing. And also, it's about a, a web that serves content tools to the browser. So it's people, it's context, it's content applications and tools. And you can Google, or you can search all of that. You can search your creative community, you can search your contents, and you can search your tools. They're all served to you. You're the uh, integration point of creativity and even software integration. So the managed web refers to models and tools that will help you to harness the power of all of this and build your next uh, media business. And that is, again, the context business, not the content business anymore. So I would argue that basically the web is really the most important medium today. And, uh, there's no and, or, or but. It's the most important medium today.